Hi everyone, so we're gonna get started with learning donor drive. So we're gonna go to varietyiowa.donordrive.com. And so this is where you will see the event information, top fundraisers and top teams. And this is where you can either register or donate to the event. So to register, you just click that register now button and then begin inputting your information. And you will automatically be a VIP slash phone panel member just as your participant type. And for the role, you'll have the option of individual, join a team, or create a team. So since Margie is on the Ladies of Variety team, we're just going to select join a team and then search for that team and it will show up. But if you are creating a team, you will select that um, create a team option. So then she will enter a fundraising goal. And if she'd like to make a donation, she can. But for now, we're just going to select no thanks. Um, then she will enter her address information. And her phone number. And so one thing you can do is if you sign up for text alerts, every time someone makes a donation to your page, you'll get a text notification right away. So we're going to sign up for text alerts and then choosing her carrier. Then continue to confirmation. So next we're gonna just make sure that we have all of the information correctly inputted. If not, we can just select those make changes buttons for any of the prompts. Then complete registration. So now Margie has been registered so she can move forward with customizing her page. And that first prompt is going to be to add a photo, so we're going to select Upload Image, but you can skip this step for now if you'd like. And then we're going to click on Save Photo. So now we can customize uh, your story, so you can customize it. This is some default text that has been updated that's pretty personable to the 47th Annual Telethon, but you can tell your story if you'd like and you can update your custom link to make it easy to share your uh, personal fundraising page. We're going to click Save. So now we can view the rest of Margie's fundraising page to continue editing, or you can share the page on any of those platforms. So to edit Margie's page, she can click the pencil icon, um, Add on her profile image or her display name if she would goes by a nickname or anything like that. So if she'd like to stream her fundraising on YouTube or Twitch, she can add that stream as well. Uh, but for now, we're just going to select maybe later. So now she can update her story. So to make those edits, we just are going to select that pencil icon and we can change any of the formatting if we like, just to make it a little more interesting and easy for someone to catch their attention. Or we can add an image or a video if we want to add any of those effects. So then under the donations tab, once she gets donations, all of those will be listed here. And then under settings, she can, again, update her fundraising goal, customize her page link if she'd like. And if we make any changes, we're just gonna make sure to click on save those changes below. So now her page has been customized, and if we'd like to get that page link for her to share, we can just click Get Page Link in that button below. So next, she, Margie can view her team page by selecting that icon in the top menu. So this is the Ladies of Variety team page. 
And if you're a team captain, you can customize this page by adding an image, updating the um, Our Story section, or she can click on donations and see all the donations that her team members have received. And this will be in order by timeline. And if she clicks on roster, she can view how her team is doing and how they're progress progressing towards their goal. And it will be in order by who has raised the most on the team. And so next in your dashboard, this is sort of the overview of how you're doing. You can see your personal fundraising statistics, how you're ranking compared to the rest of the fundraisers for the event. You can make a donation to yourself on this page, or you can ask friends to donate and create a message. Connect with your social networks like Facebook and Twitter. And you can further customize your personal fundraising page. And you can directly send uh, posts or tweets or emails to um, those platforms. So you can also see your team's fundraising stats sort of in the same format as your personal fundraising stats. So how your team is ranking compared to other teams. So over on the right, you have a couple more options of what you can look at. You can view your team page. Um, you can make a donation, or you can register another participant for your team. So you can view your team and invite someone to join your team and look at some more event information by clicking any of those buttons. So next, under the Donations tab, you can view the donations that you have received and see how you're progressing toward your fundraising goal. You can also see your fundraising thermometer on your personal page. You can download your donor report, and here is where any donations that you've received will show up, and you'll have the option to send a thank you email directly from this page. So you can also add an offline donation. So let's say you get cash or check, you can input that amount here. Make sure to select if it's cash or check. And if it's a check, just make sure to enter that check number. And you can also enter your donor's information and, and any of their contact information. So then you'll select that Add Donation button, and the Variety Office will be notified. And once they receive that donation in the Variety Office, it will be marked as verified and will show up on your personal fundraising page. So next, if you select that Make a Donation tab, you can make a donation to yourself from that button as well. And next, under Messages, you can see what messages you have sent under the first tab. You can also add contacts. You have some quick buttons right there to either compose a message as well. So under the Compose a Message tab, you'll have a couple different templates to use. You can ask a friend to donate, and we, there's some personalized messages below. And just make sure to enter the event name and enter your personal fundraising total and your personal fundraising goals, um, just so it doesn't send out just the default text to make sure that's personalized when you're asking for donations. And below, you can send a test message, test message or save as a draft if you'd like. And again, just make sure to personalize these emails. And so under the drafts, tab, drafts tab, you can see what, it, what you have saved. And under contact list, you can either add a contact or import them, and those will all be listed here. So then under resources, 
Here's where we're gonna have some best practices listed for you to utilize. We haven't added them yet, but they will definitely be in there um, for you to refer back to and make the most out of your personal fundraising. So now she can, Margie can go to the Welcome Margie, so that'll be obviously your name. So this is sort of an account overview where you can see how much you have raised, the number of donations you have received, the numbers of variety events that you have registered for, and the number of emails that you have sent. And if you'd like to edit your information, you can cl click that Edit Info button. You can change your photo, update your name and password, and any of your contact details if you need to. And so you can also see the number of donations that you have given to any of your peers who are also fundraising. Under communication settings, you can connect with your social networks, so Facebook, Twitter, and you can subscribe or unsubscribe to text alerts if you'd like. So that is everything in Donor Drive. So if you have any questions, you can definitely reach out to the Variety office. We are more than happy to be of any help. And if you have any additional questions, you can check out our fundraiser FAQs to walk through the platform. So thank you so much. We really hope that this program works great and definitely reach out to the Variety office if you have any questions.